Hi everyone and welcome to Advanced Installer YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom dialog for user input. The dialog will allow the users to enter an email and a password, which will then be captured in a text file. Be aware that the options used in this tutorial are available starting with the Enterprise Edition of Advanced Installer. I've already set up a package project in Advanced Installer, so let's dive right in and add the dialog. Go to the Dialogs page. Here, locate the first time install section in the install sequence because we want the dialog to be displayed during a normal installation. Select the folder DLG, this is the dialog that allows you to set the installation path, and then use the new dialog toolbar button to create the new dialog. The new dialog will appear in the first time install tree after the folder DLG. Now let's rename the dialog. Go to the properties pane and set a name for the dialog name field. I will name it user input DLG. Once the dialog is created, it's time to add the controls to capture the user input. To add a control, click the control toolbar button and then select the control from the list. I'm going to use two static text controls and two edit box controls inside a group box for the user's email and password. Here is the final version of my dialog for the user input. Next, we need to associate properties with controls. It's important to know that each edit box control has a property assigned to it. If you click on any of the two edit boxes in the newly created dialog, you'll see the property name field on the right pane under the property section. This property stores the value that the user inputs at install time. Let's update the property name field for each of the two edit box controls. Set email for the email box property and password for the password box property. Now it's time to capture the user input to a text file. First, I'll create an empty text file and add it to my project. And here's how. Go to the files and folders page. Create the text file and add it to the application folder. Once the file is added, use the new text file update feature to capture the user input. Click on the new text file update toolbar button and enter the name of the text file in the include field. Next, click on the append create and in the file content section, insert the properties that contain the values the user inputs. And that's all. Let's build the project to generate the installer and then install the application. I'll enter an email and a password in the input dialog. Now let's check the text file.
As you can see, the installer has correctly captured the user input in the text file. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or visit the Advanced Installer blog.